Hi, my lovelies. We're talking about sacking eyelids today. And as you saw in my um, little introduction about this sacking eyelids from Medmetics Remiscar Scar. And uh, they come in different varieties. Uh, you can get some from for your wrinkles. You can get some from under eye, and you could get something for sacking eyelids. Um, excuse me. And what I experienced about that, you know, I also tried the Peter Thomas rough under my eyes and uh, for my elevens and around my mouth. And it is a little like the Peter Thomas Roth, um, but it's better, I will say, because it's not like this thick flower paste that uh, is getting very white. There is a little white because it, it was hard filming, um, so I think I got a little too much. But what you do is you just put it in the grease here, and I did go up a little uh, to lift my eyebrows. And I'm pretty um, impressed about the result. As you also could see my eyelids before, uh, they are much more smoother and lifted. So this one is really working if you're doing it right. But um, let's try a little makeup on. I'm going in with a little of the 48 hours uh, eye stick and it's from uh, Frina Cosmetics and it's in a cool brown one. And what you can see is it's a little shiny and li I like that. And I didn't put the um, sagging eyelids uh, on, on the eyelids because it says do not put it where you move the eye. I bought this eyeliner. It's not an eyeliner. You can also use it as an eye um, shadow yesterday. And I must say it's a little too much glitter for me but it's perfect for an evening. I didn't think there was so much glitter in but we will see when I get mascara on also I feel my eye is lifted can you see I simply feel it so but be careful that you're not putting too much uh, then you will get this paste um, small white dots like uh, the Peter Thomas but that is my experience with the t um, Peter Thomas rub. Then I just go in with my MAC separating the lashes here and I simply love this one. It's so good at separating the lashes before mascara. Then I go in with a little of the Lash Paradise primer for the eyelashes. And it's supposed to clump, you know, to uh, make the lashes a little uh, more voluminous. Then I'm going in with my Gucci mascara. And this mascara, I'm telling you, I love it. It is so smooth applying and so easy applying. And it just go over every lashes without clumping. Uh, why I put the primer under is uh, because I think it's not so voluminous, uh, but it gives so much length also. Let's see if you can see a little better when I'm applying it. And it gives very long lashes. And with a primer under you also get the voluminous. But you can see, it's gorgeous. And on the other eye. I 
And what is so good about this mascara, you only need one layer. And I love that very much. Let's put a little of the Revitalize Cosmetics High Def Brow Gel. And I'm using the one in Soft Brown. And I'm going upwards like this. And downwards here. And a little on the other. And I don't have so much hair out here, so I just do a little bit more there. Going up here. I'm not using my mirror right now, so it's a little difficult seeing. Oh, I feel my eye is very lifted up here, especially this part here from here. From the grease to the eyebrow, it's perfect. Then I'm going in with a little blush and it's the Grande Pop Plumping Liquid Blush. And what I do is I take and go up from here. Instead of from down here, I have found out that this is so much better. I just put some small dots and dots here. Yeah, maybe it was a little longer down. I'm just taking my mirror here because I have to see. And then I just go down. And it looks a little like it's not perfect or it's not melting uh, out. And there will be some lines. But when you do it so many times with your finger here, it will smooth out. And... I never put blush here because it takes your face down. I want my face lifted. And this color is just so beautiful. You can also go up from here and down. And I did. And if I think I have a little too much on my finger, I just take the next one because it will make it not so much. Can you see? Just natural. And what is so good about this, it has this plumping. So uh, when there's, there's gone a little time, it will plump up also. Like so. So that was my um, experience with the sagging eyelids. I don't think I will be using it every day because it is a little expensive for this little tube and also I think maybe it will it ha you have to be perfect with this application and in the morning when I'm in a hurry and so on and also have to close my eyes for three minutes it will not be an option but going out party going out with friends dinner and so on it's perfect and I can definitely see a difference and I also think it's much better than the Peter Thomas broth. That it is a little like a flower paste, I will say. But yeah, that was the second eyelid cream. I will link them down below. I'm not in any sponsorship with them at all. I'm just trying out things that can make your problems better, like sagging eyelids.